What is up everybody? This is Stock Market Education and today we're going to be talking about the top three dividend stocks to buy for 2020. Let's get into it. The first dividend stock to buy is Carnival Cruise Stock, ticker symbol CCL. And if you take a look at Carnival Cruise, you can see that the press burned down to the ground yesterday. A lot of pain for Carnival Cruise Stock, down 13% and Carnival Cruise stock is currently trading at $28 a share, which is extremely low to its 52-week lows, nearly 50% less than its one-year highs. So, I mean, this stock has fallen and can't get up, which is all completely due to the CV situation, which has severely hurt demand for the entire leisure and travel industry. And there could be more pain in this industry until consumer confidence comes up. And Carnival Cruise is getting hurt more than any other stock in the industry, pretty much because of how big Carnival Cruise is. This is the largest cruise company in the world with 104 ships. And with that being said, let's take a look at Carnival Cruise's numbers. They have a P.E. ratio of 6.5, which is one of the lowest P.E. ratios in the entire industry. And in other words, Carnival Cruise is dirt cheap, pretty much. And they pay out a very nice dividend of 6.28% or two dollars a share if you look at their liabilities you can see that carnival cruise has a lot of long-term debt on their balance sheet however this is standard within the hospitality industry because companies have to take out loans from the bank in order to finance buildings airplanes or in this case cruise ships so seeing this amount of debt isn't a bad thing for the hospitality industry this would be a stock that i'd recommend to someone who is looking to start a long-term position in a dividend stock because they have great valuations and they pay a very nice dividend yield and the hospitality industry is going to be down for a nice amount of time and we might as well take advantage of the buying opportunities. The next dividend stock to buy is Verizon, ticker symbol VV. And Verizon is currently trading at $56.24 and Verizon is an interesting dividend stock because of how involved they are with the 5G technology space. Verizon currently has 5G outlets placed in 31 different cities as well as 15 stadiums in the U.S. Verizon has a lot of growth potential in the cities and stadiums for 5G technology since there are 310 cities in the United States and 140 sports stadiums. They have a P.E. ratio of about 12, which is very cheap compared to the markets. In addition, they have a one-year price target of about 61%. They have a dividend yield of 4.3%, as well as a payout ratio of 52%, which indicates that Verizon will be able to increase dividends over time. When you take into account Verizon's market position within the 5G race, as well as their sustainable dividend yield, Verizon should be a solid dividend stock over the next 5 to 10 years. The next dividend stock is a re or a real estate investment trust called Gaming and Leisure's Property. And I'd be surprised if anybody knows about gaming and leisure's property here, but this is an interesting stock for people who are looking for high risk and high reward dividend stocks. GLPI finances real estate properties and leases them out to gaming operators all throughout the United States. They have 44 facilities, which shows that they're extremely diverse and they plan to aggressively grow their portfolio in the future. In addition, their leases are binded by triple net lease agreements, which reduces risk substantially for GLPI. So they have a very interesting business model and it seems to be working. Looking at their numbers, GLPI pays a 6% dividend yield, has a PE ratio of 23, which is a premium compared to market standards, and has a price target estimate of $49.27. Overall, GLPI's management company is extremely effective with how they handle their owner's cash, and they're one of the most profitable REITs in the industry due to their strong profit margins. However, like I said, this one has a lot of risk involved because GLPI is one of the most highly leveraged REITs in the entire REIT industry. Gaming and Leisure's property can be an interesting growth rate for investors who can tolerate a little more risk than average. Thank you guys for watching the video. Click the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Bye.